What is going on guys, Tactical Bacon here, and thank you very much for checking out today's video, which is going to be some Daisy Vanilla Mod, Season 3, Episode 10A. So if you're wondering exactly what 10A means, basically it means that there are two parts of this, or else it would have been one 45 minute video, and I really didn't feel like uploading an entire 45 minute video, and really, honestly, how many of you would watch a 45 minute video? But this is going to be the first part of the season finale of Season 3, and and then on Wednesday, we're going to have the second part. Basically, today's video is just me working my way through the north, kind of central north, to the northwest airfield, and then down towards Belota. But like I said, this is episode 10A, so the video is actually going to end after I leave northwest airfield and travel over towards, like, Vibor and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, it's going to be all the setup you need for today's video. Remember, if you like it, to leave it a thumbs up and comment down below. Also, go join our Facebook group at YT Tactical Bacon. Go follow me on Twitter at YT Tactical Bacon, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. I think this is kind of supposed to represent that one base that's kind of hidden in the woods on standalone, I suppose. It's actually kind of cool. I mean, if I can find some food in here, that would make it even cooler, but... Doesn't look like I'm going to have any luck on that just yet. Now, if they design this place after... There we go. I was just about to say, if they really design this place after uh, that little hidden base in the woods and standalone, then there should be a barracks building around here, but I just found one. I wonder, though, is this the only one that you can get into? Okay, well, there's a bear trap right there. Luckily, somebody's already triggered the bear trap. Any food in here? No. Don't know if I'm gonna find any food in here, to be honest with you. Uh, no mags. What we got down there? What the fuck is that? Oh, my favorite gun, a bison. A bison. Nothing in there. Whoa. AKM, I guess. Or maybe it's an AK-74U. I can never really tell the difference just by looking at them. I mean, there probably is some very easy way to tell the difference, but maybe it's something like buttstock or some shit. Alright, let's see if we can find any food in here. Can of beans would be nice. I was trying to find some uh, some animals to cut up and cook, but Unfortunately, I did not find any. Yet. You know what? I don't think this school has fucking jack shit, to be honest with you. Can I go into that building? I believe I can. There's actually a few barracks buildings I can go into. It's another bear trap. All these fucking bear traps. Okay, well here's some some wipes. Guess I can use that if a zombie hits me and I've got a uh, whatever sickness it is they give me. Whatever you call that shit. Smoke nade? Eh. Doubt I'm gonna need a smoke grenade. Jesus Christ, nothing in there either? Ooh, there's a fountain. It's good that they put that in here. 
Okay, there's another barracks building. I thought that, that was a barracks building. I think the other one is on the opposite side of this one, right? No, not not there, right there. It's the other barracks building. At least I assume that I haven't checked that one yet. Don't mind me, Mr. Zombie. I don't even... Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I am able to go into this one. Let's get over here. There's no bear trap, at least. Oh, wait. I have a fucking M9 SD? <coughs> Jesus. Alright. Come here, zombie. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. Open the door. Find nothing. I know there might be something underneath the bunks, but I just <laughs> really don't feel like checking. Because if it's good enough to be underneath the bunks, then goddammit, it should be good enough to be on top of the bunks as well. And we got another zombie. You know, I don't have all the world, or all the world. All the ammo in the world for this, uh, this pistol. I still use it to kill some of these zombies. Depending on where they went. Nah, I'm gonna save my ammo. But yeah, this is kind of unfortunate. I mean, I was kind of hoping to come up here and find some food or something. I might die of starvation before I get shot by another player. But I mean, in all honesty, I'll probably get shot by another player before, <laughs> before anything else. Which is exactly why I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to leave and continue heading west because, I don't know man, I think that I might be able to pick up some kind of food, maybe a devil's castle or something like that, I don't know, I, I just really hope that I come across some food soon. Because if I don't, I'm going to start losing blood, and if I start losing blood, I will eventually die, obviously. So, we got to find a way to prevent that. Another thing I remember somebody telling me is that the there is a way into this firehouse. It's just that pile of bodies. Every time I'm over here, I get freaked out because I think I'm hearing like a, a dead player body. Somewhere. But yeah, they said that should be able to get into here. That one's barricaded, that one's barricaded. I mean, maybe if I climb the ladder, it might work, but. I don't know, I mean, I've never really been into... Checking the firehouses that much. I think there's someone further down the airfield. Maybe north of the airfield or something. Might be a good idea to just hop in that ATC, to be honest with you. 
see if I can see anything from here. I don't see any zombies moving around south, so we should be good from that angle at least. What do we have here? Flares and ammo that I cannot use. If we can see anything from here. There's a zombie way down there. What the fuck am I doing? Let's see. DMR. The unfortunate thing is, I don't know if I can turn up my view distance or not. There's even more zombies up there. Maybe he's checking that barracks. I mean, right now there's more zombies over here, though. And that is way too far away. Man, it's kind of starting to get darker, too. I think what I'm going to do is... Because, I mean, like I said, look. I've got four mags for my M4, or my M1... Or my M16, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I always just call it an M4. And then I've got three mags for my DMR. So, I mean, it's not like I'm hurting for ammunition. And that's probably pretty much all I'm going to really find up here. So. I mean, I did find those two cans of food and everything, yeah, but. I don't know. I think we'll just go ahead and leave the airfield. To be honest with you, I really don't know what I was hoping to find. <laughs> I'll probably look through a couple of these barracks real quick. I mean, not really look through them, but Jesus Christ. Just kind of glance at what's in there. Ooh, that's either a can of food or a can of soda. That is definitely a can of food. Corn. Can of soda. The fuck is this? No, oh, tank traps. Dude. Just don't. <laughs> just don't, zombie. Anything good in here? Yeah. More food, it looks like. Which, I mean, I'm not saying that like it's a bad thing or anything like that. It's just... I'm gonna be running out of room pretty soon. Another can of corn? Holy shit. I guess that's another can of corn. Yep. Okay. Let's see what's in this last hangar, and could be more food. Yep. Yeah, here we got like a chocolate Snickers bar, empty can. Okay, so hangars aren't really that bad of a spot to look for food. I'm discovering. It's like a like some kind of herb box or some shit like that at the <clears throat> back of this hangar over here to my left. Which I don't know what the fuck I need it for in this game. 
<laughs> but yeah, like I said, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and leave Northwest Airfield. I've got plenty of ammo and now, thanks to those hangars, I have plenty of food. Plenty of corn too, so that's going to be good for me. Um, but yeah, I think what we're going to do next is we're going to head down towards like, we're going to start heading south. Um, we'll go through like Vibor, Zeleno, and then eventually come down to Belota. See if we can do some sniping down at Belota. So here's something I've never done in the Vanilla Mod series before, and that is secure one of these heli crashes. I think some zombies are going to be popping into it very soon. Not into it, but around it. You you know what the fuck I mean. But yeah, I mean, I've never been fortunate enough to secure one of these things. There's some medical supplies that just spawned in. I think I could see some other things laying around there, too. Holy shit. It's a pig over there. This actually might turn out to be not that bad of an idea. But yeah, I mean, I figured since I was going to start pushing west anyway, I might as well come over here. Check out this heli crash. There's the zombies. Because <clears throat> like I said, I've never really had enough, like, ammo, really, to secure one of these things. So let's see if we can actually get this. Go ahead and put in a new mag. Okay. Let's try to start off with the one that's furthest away from the heli. Okay. Need to get a little bit closer. that one. <clears throat> That's pretty much all the ammo out of that mag. Jesus, where's the other ones? They're all kind of wandering away now. Okay, let's see what we got over here. What the fuck is this? Alright, it's a gun that I can't really use because it doesn't have any ammo for it. Holy shit! I think it's, what, O positive? That, uh, it's universal? I hope so. What is this? Oh, nice! Another mag for that. Can of corn. Painkillers. Meh. I mean, I what? It. It. Meh. <laughs> That's really all I can say about it. It's just meh. I mean, it's not like the best stuff in the world that I got from that heli crash, but I mean. I was definitely able to find more shit than what I had. Oh fuck, I think it's starting to get dark. I always think that though. Oh shit, I think they realized what I did. <laughs> I think they realized I just took their shit. At least that one zombie dead now, he's trying to come after me. But he's a crawler, I, I think it's gonna... He's, it's going to take him a while. Alright, um... 
Yeah, I mean, I guess I can just go ahead and keep heading towards Belota. I mean, originally my plan was to go check out Vibor, but... I mean, honestly, I don't have much room left anyways, so there's really no point in going to check out Vibor for what food and drink was pretty much all I was going to find there, probably. So I think what I'm just going to do, like I said, is just keep heading down towards Belota. I can kill this chicken, right? Holy shit, I can. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but... Because I don't have any room in my backpack, and I definitely don't have any room in my inventory. Feathers? The fuck? Um... Okay, this is what we'll do. I will... Holy shit, I have way too many painkillers. Put one of those in there, and drop the flares, and there we go. Alright, now I'm on my way back down to Belota.